After this moment, I focus my will. I open my consciousness, breathing. I am still, breathing. I am still. I dedicate this body. I dedicate this place, a vessel for holiness. Surrender to grace. I surrender to grace. Forgiving the past, relinquish the future. I choose this moment. I choose love. I choose love. Let's explore this a little bit more. In the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, we're talking about a fully human anthropos person. What does this actually mean? It's kind of like if you look at an acorn seed, you know that an acorn seed doesn't grow to be a banana tree. It because it's a blueprint and it and it grows into the truth of what it is. And the truth of what it is is it's a magnificent oak tree, right? So that's the same with us. We are divine. We, are, we, we may be at the seed stage of our divine awareness of who we are, but we're going to grow into it. So we may not be in a not yet state, not yet knowing that we're divine. But we are both already, because we're already divine. We're already love. We're already peace. It's already in us. We can't become what we're not. We have to become what we are. And what, what are we? We are love. We are peace. We are joy. We are the expression of God. So we are going to grow into it, but maybe not yet. So it's just our choice of how fast we grow and, and how do we expand into our consciousness, into our divine state. So how do we do this is, is that we're stopped identifying with the illusion that we're separate because we really think I experience myself as a separate body. I have a separate house. I have a separate bank account. I have all this stuff that I actually like my separate bed, you know, things like this. But when we come into a willingness to stop identifying with the illusion, we can call in all the parts of ourselves that are fragmented out there. So the masculine person who's all masculine and no I don't do any he could call in and allow for the integration of his feminine self his softness his gentleness his kindness his compassion a compassionate man is incredible the same is true on the other side which is on the other side it is the feminine who calls in the parts of her masculine that she needs she integrates herself so that she can be strong when she needs to be strong. She can set boundaries. She can protect herself. She can have all of this is available to her as well. So she becomes fully integrated as her divine self. And, and then in her divine nature, um, she's able to, to know herself as whole. And this becoming whole is what we what we understand as becoming as one. We come into the oneness of who we are. Unfortunately, we've been conditioned so heavily, especially as little children, that you have to go out there into the world and find your true love. So you're going to look for your true love, right? <laughs> and uh, if you don't find your true love, it's it's sad because you experience yourself as being half until you find your other half and then you can feel whole. Then you can come together and be the marriage that, you know, let no man put asunder the 
break these two apart. But the, you're still feeling half with another half. And so you could easily butt heads. But in the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, we learn that she knew she was one with God. She had the journey that achieved an enlightened state that gave her the insight that she knows who she is. And she went to Jesus and she said, I had a vision. And she had a vision that she was one with God. And he looked at her and he goes, oh, my God, it's so true because she wasn't faking it. She actually knew it. So this allowed them to be the demonstration as they connected and joined of sacred union, each claiming, I am the love of God. I am one with God. Jesus said, the father within does the work, right? So we find true love by going within. And when we get connected to the love that we are in ourselves, remove all the blocks and the barriers to it, which is what the Course in Miracles helps with, with the lessons. It helps us to eliminate our blocks and barriers so that we can know that we are divine, that we are love. And then that love is shared, not sought. So she didn't go to Jesus and try to get love from him. And he didn't try to get love from her. It was more that he knew that he was the, running the energy of the love of God through him. The father within does the work. And she knew she was running the love through her. So then they started to share that. And that's where that strengthening comes from. So when holiness is shared, then, then in the sharing, it gains in strength and they became stronger and stronger and stronger. So this joining in oneness, part of another reason why it's so powerful is because it means that you're experiencing each other as equal. The equality was essential. Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene at the resurrection to help raise the status of women and get women into an equal position with men. And he's recognized Magdalene as his equal. And, and by honoring that and joining with her, we are both the one life. In other words, Jesus has the life of God in him that allows, if we don't, we aren't alive without the breath of God in us, right? So this life force that runs through us as us is what makes us a part of God. And she has the same thing. She has life in her. And the life that I am is no different than any man on this call. We are equal in that life. We are the one life. And that's a critical thing about understanding the equality. And that also is what causes the gaining in strength. So anyway, thank you so much for letting me share.
Mary.